Sometimes we are unaware of the fact that people are willing to open up and share their most inner thoughts and feelings. To let us explore who they are, what makes them special and unique, their likes and dislikes, what makes them tick, what makes them happy and what their dreams are. Sometimes we are unaware that people are willing to share things that maybe they wouldn't have shared unless they were asked the right questions. And that's all we need to do in life, just ask the right questions. My happiest memory was when I landed in Rome on my eighth birthday. Uh, it was a present from my parents and it was just something that we've been planning for a long time. And I'd never been out of the country before, so it was a lot of fun just to get there and, you know, see everything that's new. Uh, let's take over the world. I want to rule the world. I don't care how. The best thing happening in my life right now is probably the fact that I'm like, I feel like a truly independent being, I guess. I don't, I like have close friends and all that stuff, but like I feel like I'm really finally like coming into my own and just like becoming my own person. And like, I'm really happy about that. I do pretty strange things. Probably the strangest thing that I've ever done was um, be a moaner in the <laughs> vagina monologues at Clark and get on stage and moan very loudly and passionately in front of an audience of hundreds of people that I didn't know. <laughs> My favorite quality would probably have to be that I try things that I don't think I'll like. Um, I'm very opinionated, so I do a very good job of trying things I don't expect to, and that always ends up having, I mean, I always end up having like awesome experiences because of it, so. Oh God, that's a long I don't story. know about you guys, but I was looking for a roommate, and Cyrus was like, hey, we need an eighth person for a suite, and I was like, what could go wrong? And wow. I ended up with this, so. We literally just used him to get an eight person suite. And that's how we became friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I met Kai, actually no, we met with the PA, yeah, first, first, first week, first week, that's how we met. I would say for me the biggest turn off in a partner is someone who doesn't know how to listen. I think that open and honest communication is the most important part of any relationship, um, and I think that sometimes people forget that a big part of communication is not just communicating your thoughts and feelings, but receiving other people's communication in return. How my mouth feels weird because I don't, I'm not usually good on camera and, and I don't know how to like hold my face. I'll be pretty candid. I mean, I think my biggest struggle in life right now is, is where am I heading socially? I know that might even sound really strange, but like, you know, I'm, I've constantly had this like dark cloud over my head for like the last six years is like all of my my friends are in relationships and um, I don't really know where I stand on the whole thing. I don't know if, you know, I don't know what's going to make me happy in terms of, of, um, of, of being, you know, part of a, a romantic relationship. I don't know. I guess, uh, you know, there's a lot of things I'm afraid of. There's a lot of things I'm ambiguous about or ambivalent about, but I, uh, you know, I think overall, like kind of one of the bigger struggles right now, I'm trying to figure out you know, where I stand in my own head sometimes and um, figuring out, again, what's gonna make me, what's gonna make me happiest. I'm actually trying to think of like strange things that I've done and it's pretty difficult. I think all of the clothes that I wore in high school ever, anything that I did in high school was pretty much the strangest thing I've ever done. I think a lot of Clarkies can probably say that. So I worked for Escort, this was a few years ago. Um, obviously you don't drink and join escort, you know, I meant to drink and drive and it's not, it's dangerous. So, uh, but it was spree day, it was an exception. <clears throat> Obviously my boss didn't find it as an exception. Um, I was uh, meant to hide it, but uh, so I came in a little intoxicated, but not really, I was sober, it's just that it was still in my breath. Um, I guess I was stupid, but uh, almost lost my job, a sophomore year. But, uh, suspended for a few weeks however I, I made it through I'm still working for escort great employee now learned a lot from the lesson yep so the best prank I ever made uh, was actually this year and it wasn't even that good of a prank until everyone freaked out about it which I'll tell you about so um, I'm an RA and it's basically one of the main reasons I applied to be an RA was to prank people because I love pranking people so um, what we decided to do was, in Maywood Hall, we went around on, spree on uh, 
April Fool's Day, and we were like, it's spree day, everyone, it's spree day, wake up! And we, like, had alarms, we had sirens, we had pots and pans, um, and, and then we also sent around an email that said it was spree day. And so a bunch of people fell for it, for, but for the most part, they were just like, eh, that's kind of an inconvenience, like, but kind of funny. So it really wasn't that good of a prank, until it got around to the administration, who freaked out at us and made it a hundred times better than this prank ever would have been. And now we're going through all this shit with admin. Oh, I don't, can I say shit? Yeah. Now we're going through all of this with administration, and it's so hilarious because it wasn't even that good of a prank, and now it is so great. I'm probably most proud of having a great family. Uh, I have a beautiful, smart, intelligent wife, a Clark graduate as, as well, and um, two beautiful kids. Uh, they're they're awesome. Uh, so that's probably what I'm most proud of. I have I have a. Uh, uh, what well, you might want to call a perfect family. Of course, I'm in it too, so that helps too. <laughs> I guess I get new tattoos and piercings. And I can't do a lot. I uh, play the piano. Um, I like writing songs in there too. I play guitar. Do you make music together? Sometimes, yes. yes. Nice. <laughs> Probably be just generally being a better singer. Um, John Legend is the man. His voice is really off the charts. Um, if I could have John Legend's voice, that would be that would be a key attribute in terms of um, just mastering mastering an art form and something that is so readily accessible at any point in your life. Um, being able to sing like that, so probably singing. Do something really stupid and shenanigans filled that I have yet to do. My most valuable valuable possession is definitely my body and my brain because I don't like to put a lot of importance into physical things because like things and objects are fleeting and as are like relationships and experiences like those are all fleeting but the only thing that I have forever is my mind and my heart and my body so I'm going to treat my body like a temple and love myself and treat myself well and surround myself with people who love me because that is what is going to give me an incredible life and I'm powerful. That's all I have to say. I think for me, what I really like most about Clark is, and I'm kind of biased because of my major, um, the English department. Um, I, I really feel comfortable there. Um, the professors I've gotten a chance to work with have just been, been so dynamic, um, but they've also really like, become my friends. Uh, I, I just, I adore them. They're great people. Um, they have so much knowledge. Uh, so I'm constantly impressed, but, but at the same time, I always just feel so happy when I'm in that department because, you know, I have all my classes there in somebody's old living room. And I just think that's a lot of fun is that I get the, get the real chance to, to do something and be in a place that I feel inspired. And um, that's how I feel about all of Clark, but I think for me in, in that department, just feel so well supported. My favorite thing about Clark is how easy they make it for you to explore yourself and your identity and the community. Um, I've never felt, I've like never felt claustrophobic or stifled here. There's a lot of freedom to be an individual and to explore things that you've never tried before. There's a, there's a lot of favorite things. Now I think it's, it's my club, the Clark Investors and Trading Society. But, you know, it's the first finance club at Clark. But other than that, it's, it's, it's MUN. Um, it's probably the top team you can be part of once you're at Clark. It's, it's a top 15 team in North America. Um, I mean, what more can you say? That's all that needs to be said. My favorite thing about Clark is the number of friends who I have who do all sorts of different activities. Everyone kind of intermixes everywhere. Like, we have, like, chemistry majors who do theater and math majors who do music and science majors who are involved in choir and everyone does art and sports and, and everyone does so many different things that like you know people who are involved in everything which I think is kind of a cool perspective to go along with a really liberal artsy education um, and that's something that I don't think happens everywhere. My favorite thing about Clark is probably the diversity of the people that go here. Uh, I really enjoy that. Um, I feel like every day it's a different country coming to me every few minutes with a different amount of people that come in. 
like one minute it's someone from China coming in, the next minute it's someone from uh, like Canada even, or who knows where. It's spectacular. I like the, yeah, just like it. So my favorite thing about Clark is that everyone here is really an individual. They all have their own personal interests and they're not afraid to just do whatever they want to do regardless of what anyone else thinks they should do. Um, everyone is just really self-motivated. I just like the diversity that Clark offers both sort of socially and academically. I came here because I wanted a smaller school, like a lot of people who come here, but after being here for two years, it's just, it feels like home. It feels like a place I can call home and I want to come back to and I want to see thrive. Um, Clark, um, I'm in the geography program and I really enjoy that. And the people, I guess. The people.